All right, so welcome back to Photo Mechanic 5. And uh, so, um, Photo Mechanic's been the most popular tutorial I've had on YouTube. So, I've decided to uh, go into some aspects within Photo Mechanic that I think most people don't use nor know exist within Photo Mechanic. So, today we're going to be just looking at variables um, within Photo Mechanic and they will really save you a lot of time especially if there's clients or that you use over and over again or if you're a journalist and you do a lot of stuff for a specific school and it's repetitive information this will really help you um, just in speed and filling out caption information so I'm going to on a Mac just hit command G and that brings up ingest um, panel here and so you can see this is basic information for ingesting. So right here I'm going to select my compact flash card. And so that has some images that I shot for a class of mine. And there's just some of some an ice jam. And we're going to use that today. So I'm ingesting from a disk, meaning this. If I want to ingest from a folder or on a hard drive or somewhere else, we can click on the folder. So um, that's basically how you do that. Um, right over here is going to be the destination of where my images are gonna go. So they're gonna go from the compact flash to my SSD. So my primary destination is the root level on my SSD, all right? If I wanna do effort to two different locations, I can select this like that and then I can just pick a secondary lo location so if I want to move them to my local hard drive and an external hard drive both at the same time you just select that and pick the destination of where you want it to go so down here we have uh, ignore copy all photos to the same destination so basically any image on here is going to be in the same folder you can keep if you for some reason uh, like have separate folders on your um, uh, card which actually I can't stand it drives me nuts it's too much navigation you could keep those if you wanted and then if you want to preserve all source directories you can do that as well so um, I just do everything to the same destination um, copy photos meaning I want everything to go into one folder with the name um, there are other options here directly into a primary and secondary folders into a dated folder only um, into a folder with a name or into a dated folder with a name I just do into a folder with name and then I use variables to fill out what I want on that name which ends up being a date anyways use folder sequence I don't use that um, so that would just be sequencing um, your folders all right saying so, over here we'll come back to the IPTC stationary pad and I'll go over that in a second so rename ingested photos so yes I want them to sequence so the first image that comes gets a one then a two then a three then a four um, if you had this and it, it accounts so if I import 100 it's gonna be at 100 instead of one if you want to reset that you just set set uh, that you hit reset and this will go back to zero and you hit OK. Um, open contact sheets during ingest. I do that because man, as soon as those things show up, I'm calling or starting to tag images. I don't want to wait. That's one of the reasons you use photo mechanic because it's so fast. All right. Um, erase source disk after ingest. This is something I would never do nor suggest anybody do because if there was an issue, um, of your images going over uh, to your hard drive and they were corrupted or something went bad then it's erasing your disk now that's not a huge issue if you have some sort of recovery software um, I also prefer to always reformat my card in my camera um, you should never really delete off an SD or a compact flash card you should always reformat and then unmount source disk after ingest which means you don't have to hit eject to take your card out it automatically does that so you can once it's done you can just pull it out without hitting anything that's just makes life a whole lot easier 
All right, so right here it has the amount of 2.3 gigabytes that we're going to be transferring over, which is also up here. So the first thing we're going to go into here is this information right here. Now, anytime you see this lightning bolt, that's basically a save button type of an idea here. So we're going to click on job. Now, I don't use job for everything that I do. However, um, it does have some important information. Now, if this is just a generic form that I filled out, this is obviously not something that I used. All right. So notice we have a client and a user. So I am the user. You can see I have my user saved here. So normally I would just click on that and it would automatically have my information. So I don't want you guys calling me. So my information is not there. That's not real hard to find out who I am. All right, so same thing with here. If you have clients, they can be saved there. Um, I just put a dummy person in here so you can see that that's uh, information. Now, if this important person or important company was something I used over and over again, I could save it and it would save in the drop down menu here. Up here, I have labeled um, what this photo is. All right, so this is an ice jam in Harrisburg, so logically I named it ice jam. So it makes sense to me um, as far as what the images are of. And the rest is simple, you just fill out. And this information you will transfer via variables we will see over to here. So you can see right here on my folder name, the first thing I want is my job name. So what's my job name? Right here, job name, ice jam. So when this imports or ingests over to my SSD, it is going to change job name with Ice Jam. So the next thing that I want is the date. So I need to add a variable so it can add the date. Now, could I just go like this? And this is just a fake date, but that's all right. Yep. Uh, looks like 2018 would be better. So I could manually just type it in and it would have ice jam and then the date. Simple. Or instead of typing in the date every time you get to the computer, you can set a variable. So to get variables, obviously you click the variables button. And now it gives you a whole list of all kinds of different variables. And if you select one, it will tell you what the variable is about. So my, the one we're going to use is today, all right, which is the date or today. So I'm going to double click that. And when you double click it, it automatically adds the variable. So down here we can see it's going to be job name plus the variable today, which is going to be today's date. And then it's going to be the sequence with 010203. Now I can add as many variables as I want to right here. All right, and it doesn't have to be date. It can be anything in this list that you see that you want to add to that area. So we're just gonna stop there for this so we can see how this works. And I'm gonna come over here to this pad and we're gonna click that. And you can see I have a dummy one of these filled out here. So here I'm going to add a caption or a description. So. Uh, let's say I was talking about the ice jam in Harrisburg. I would add that there. Now, if you want to add variables, you can. Like one of the things that I always would you would do in an AP caption, it add the date. Now, um, this is not the type of date that you would add, but I'll just quickly uh, see if I can find out. So today's day, right? So we want today's day. So today's day, but I would want that like not, uh, it's saying here current padded like 0102. We don't want that. So if I want to like Monday or Tuesday, um, so month name or day name. So it's saying capture like it's going to be small day, Monday year. Well, that's not how I want it. Date shot. All right. And so control panel so however you want this to show up there's basically a variable in here to do this so i'll just click date shot um and we there's two different ones in here so uh 
I want you to see how the, they come up. So we'll just leave them both just for the fun of it. Any headline, um, uh, any keywords, there's all kinds of information available. So, uh, so city. Now, right here, I have it manually typed in Hershey. And you can see if you click over this, if you add a city that you go to a lot, you can save those so you don't have to type them up. So let's say I just want this to be Camp Hill. I can click on Camp Hill. Or if I want this to be Harrisburg, or it's, this is Harrisburg, I can click on that. Or I could add the variable from the job. All right, so here's the job. So if I wanted the city um, from the client, I could come over here and go to where I have the user city and use that as my variable. So how does that work or look? So I've come down here um, to contact information. So this is my contact information, all right? So notice I've done user address, which is me, user sitter, user city. So anything that I have here listed it is going to import to this location. And you can kind of go set that up. Now, once you get this set up, you can actually save this. So if you have a couple different ways that you do something or different organizations that want different things filled out in a variety of ways, you can save those and then you can just clear it and load the new, the new one that you have. So I'm not going to do that because that will just cause way too many uh, issues. So we're going to hit close and then I'm going to hit ingest. So you can see, bam, we're ready to go. So notice it's got Ace Ice Jam 1-25-18. That's my folder name. So it automatically loaded my job name and my date right in there. And now we're doing our images. Um, and it's one, two, three, four. Now normally when I do this, I add a name before this. So I would probably put my job name here. Um, you know, sometimes you forget things when you do these videos. So normally I would have icegm.1.2 so it would be easier to search for. So that's my mistake. That's just one of the things, but we're not going to redo this video. So then you can go through here and see all that information. So I'm just going to bring up the uh, ITC uh, pad here so we can see important description here and it added the date. All right. Um, so... I did two things. I forgot what the first one was here, but that was maybe the day. Oh, so the day. So it added the day and then the date or something like that, maybe. Whatever I told it to do. And so now we can come and we're going to scroll down here to my information. So uh, me, me, me. Where am I at? So yeah, so contact information. So obviously this is dummy data, but you can see how it's imported everything. Anything that was a variable has been put into um, this pad or contact information wherever I tell it to go to. So hopefully that is helpful. Um, you learned a little bit about uh, using this type of variable information. So uh, right here I would do job name. So I'm going to come up here, whoops, hit cancel, and go down to variables and scroll up and hit job name. So now it will be uh, ice jam dot that number, which makes a whole lot more sense. So thanks for watching. You know, please subscribe so we can keep this channel going. Um, any comments or questions, you can leave those below.